I'll check back in a while. Good evening. This morning we tried our hand at streaming. It was a partial success, but not everybody's seen it. So I'm not going to go through an evening service, but what I'm going to reiterate is our thought for the day. And in the collect this morning, and it's the collect for the whole of Easter week, I said, God of glory, by the raising of your Son, you've broken the chains of death and hell. Fill your church with faith and hope, for a new day has dawned, and the way to life stands open in our Saviour, Jesus Christ. So, we've said, a new day has dawned. And here we are at Eastertide, and in the midst of the Jewish Passover, and but ten days away from Ramadan. And the world has changed. It has changed out of all recognition. Yesterday, following the Mass, the Eucharist of Easter Day, and preparing Easter Day dinner, I watched that great, if sometimes a bit cloy, the Cecil B. DeMille film, The Ten Commandments. And in the first reading from this morning, we had the description of the first Passover. To the children of Israel, the Passover was the means by which they could escape the bondage of slavery. It is a story that resonates with Jews, with Christians and with Muslims. It marked the crossroads of faith. Today, we are in bondage of another kind, to a virus called COVID-19, coronavirus. And in this period of quietness, which has been forced upon us, is an opportunity to take stock of ourselves and our lives. I nearly said, if we don't kill ourselves first, because let's be honest, living in a house and doing nothing would be awful. So we have to find things to do and we also have to examine ourselves. What do our lives mean? And how can we impact on our fellow human beings with respect and understanding? That really is the thought for today. God willing, all this will be over soon, or it will be over. And hopefully we may have learned from it that life is to be lived, but life also has a deeper meaning. And the deeper meaning is how we impact with other people. And before we finish, I'm going to read you the St. John's Prayer. This is our own prayer. Almighty God and Father, we bring before you all the people of the earth, of every age, race, colour, class and creed. As you blessed us at creation, send your Holy Spirit so that faith may be renewed and strengthened that we may with courage take out into a sometimes bitter, sceptical and divided world the knowledge of your truth, that the peace and love of Christ Jesus may heal division, give hope to those in need and to those who have much, the will to help those who have nothing. We ask this in the name of him who was sacrificed on the cross for our salvation, Jesus Christ our Lord. Joining our prayers with those of Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, the Mother of the Lord, St John the Baptist, our patron and herald of the Lord, St Peter, the Prince of the Apostles, and all your saints, both living and departed, and with those of all your faithful people. And we say, Amen, Amen, and Amen. So those are our thoughts for today. 
and we hope to see you tomorrow when we will continue with our thoughts, our prayers. Good night.